Hey everyone, it's Epilepsy Blogger. It's about 4.30 in the morning, um, and as you probably know from my blog, I have insomnia that comes and goes, so I can't sleep tonight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my weekly news blog over with and let you guys know what I thought was very interesting this past week in the news. So my first article comes from Taiwan, and there was researchers in Taiwan who have confirmed a bi-directional relationship between schizophrenia and epilepsy. You may have seen this link on Twitter or on my Facebook page, um, but if you haven't, this is very interesting and you should definitely go check it out. So, in this study, um, which was published in Epilepsia, which is a journal um, by the International League Against Epilepsy, also known as ILAE, it's kind of hard to say, ILAE, reports that patients with epilepsy were nearly eight times more likely to develop schizophrenia and patients with schizophrenia were um, six times more likely to develop epilepsy. So there's a relationship back and forth between the two. So it is very likely that um, either people with schizophrenia or people with epilepsy could develop one or the other. This is very um, important because there were um, theories in the past that they were connected but they were supposedly just rumors, and some people had theories that they were the same things. Um, I know I read an article, and I can't remember where, um, but someone had the theory that epilepsy was a form of schizophrenia. It definitely isn't, but, um, you know, that's just stupid. But they definitely are related, and that has been confirmed thanks to researchers in Taiwan. Um, my next article is very exciting, and... It is um, such a great, it's great news for people with epilepsy, and great news is always um, just wonderful, especially when it comes to this certain um, disorder, because it's not often that we hear great news. Um, if you are taking more than one epilepsy drug, also called AED, um, anti-epileptic drugs, or um, different forms of treatment at the same time, you are seven times less likely to be affected by SUDEP um, or SUDEP, which is sudden, unexpected, or unexplained death in epilepsy. Um, this is something that I know I read about it all the time. It haunts many people with, epi um, with epilepsy. You know, it's honestly, it's haunted me a lot. It, it makes you worry when you go to sleep at night. You want to make sure you're not laying on your stomach so you don't smother yourself on accident if you have a seizure. Um, there's a lot of precautions that have been taken by people with epilepsy just to avoid SUDEP and those precautions still should be taken. I'm not telling you not to, um, but I am giving you the good news that you are seven times less likely to be affected by SUDEP. And this, these two um, articles can be found on medicalnewstoday.com. Um, that's where I get all of my articles from. It is a really awesome website, um, and they gather news from NBC Health Journal, um, America Health Journal, a lot of different, uh, a lot of different websites. So it's a very reliable source, and you can also see these updates on Twitter. Um, my Twitter name is Epilepsy Blogger. You can also see it on Facebook, and Facebook is also Facebook.com/slash Epilepsy Blogger. Or you can see it occasionally on my blog. I don't always put news on there because that's more of my way to um, talk about my life and things like that. So I don't always put the news on there. But if you go to my blog, which is Mandy Krzywonski dot blogspot um, talk, I can't talk. I'm too tired. Mandy Krzywonski dot blogspot dot com. On the right side, if you scroll all the way down, you'll see a news feed. Um, and it's constantly, constantly changing. Um, there's probably a new article every hour or so having to do with epilepsy. So you can also find some really cool news there. Um, these are just the two articles that I thought were most exciting. There are many more. Um, and I will keep you guys updated on Twitter as I usually do and on Facebook. Um, but if all else fails, you can always check out my blog because there's always news. There's always that news feed. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys thought the news was exciting as I did, because I thought it was just so interesting. Please um, feel free to leave suggestions 
um, in the comments below if there's something you'd like to see in the next video. Um, if you have questions for me, um, my next video will probably be a vlog because that's really why I wanted to make this um, channel so I could get back to my connection with you guys that I've been missing so much thanks to my busy life and graduating and being sick and seizures coming back. Um, so I will be talking to you guys again soon, hopefully in a couple days here. Um, I am a little busy here and there, but I am going to make time for the channel, don't worry. I have some really cool stuff planned. So, I love you all. Mwah. Stay seizure free. I hope you guys are all healthy. God bless you and keep fighting the seizures. Bye.